What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, I'm Finnis, Cash Day Games. Before I start this video, make, make sure you have subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell, stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos. Follow me on Instagram, and I'm Finnis, and follow my band, everybody, mention on Spotify, all that should be in the description box below. If you guys want to see the channel grow, give the video a thumbs up. Really, really appreciate it. Helps the channel grow and doesn't cost you guys a fucking penny because I'm donating to the channel. Grab some Opperman Fitness merch or some Dimension merch. That should also be in the description box below. All that'll be in the description box below. And let's get to the topic at hand. Honest reviews video today where I review a product and I give my motherfucking honest opinion on it. For those who don't know, that, you, that that's what I used to start off my videos with. All right, so we got Planta Peanut Butter and Jelly. Planta is a vegan protein. And um, if you if you see this if you see this here, it looks like it's gonna be grape jelly. Looks like it's gonna be some grape jelly action. So I don't know. I'm not. I, I like peanut butter and grape jelly. I don't. I'm not really the biggest fan of peanut butter and strawberry jelly. Just just my opinion. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the price point. Price point, guys. You already know about Planta. This shit is expensive. Fifty dollars on TigerFitness.com, and I'm pretty sure that's pretty much the only place you can really get it. Um, I haven't really seen it in any other place that was cheaper. Um, it's pretty much, that's the going rate. That's just is what it is, which is $2 a serving. So for a vegan protein, this shit is super fucking expensive. But I will say this, this fucking protein is stacked with fucking vitamins and minerals, like insane packed. So the macros here, one scoop is 32 grams, 110 calories, 2.5 fat, two carbs, one gram of fiber, 20 grams of protein. And then you have literally all these vitamins and minerals and then you have vegan bcaa two to one one thousand milligrams in here and then it says you know check out our other flavors 12 flavors and there's a shit ton of flavors at the bottom which i'll probably be showing you over the screen at the moment one scoop with planta 10 to 12 ounces and it says other ingredients organic pea protein organic rice protein peanut flour freezed dried strawberry pieces so I guess it is strawberry, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it is what it is. Natural peanut butter and jelly flavor, organic coconut sugar, dye calcium malate, gum blend, xanthan gum, gum, acacia, gar gum, monk fruit, sunflower less than, sucralose, and iron biglossinated chylate. <coughs> Says premium grade protein, independently third part tested, fortified with micronutrients and sunflower amino acids, no amino spiking, all natural flavors. By the way, I did take it out of its bag because these bags are fucking horrible. I don't, they needed to go to tubs. I know they're trying to go the eco-friendly route. That's the whole point of them switching to bags. But if you're gonna spend $50 for a fucking vegan protein, the bag butter fucking close. I, I, it just doesn't close. Like, look at this shit. Look at that, ready? Oh, now it wants to fucking close. Oh, look, see? And it's just, it's just very flimsy and opens right the fuck up. So, I had to fucking put in a goddamn bag. I put in a goddamn bag. And it looks like there's inclusions here. See that? It's like little strawberry, like, marshmallow pieces of some sort. I don't know. So, first I'm going to get the uh, almond milk ready. 10 ounces, 10 to 12. I'm just going to go ahead and do 10, be on the safe side. All right. So, for those of you who don't know, Planta... It is one of the best probably proteins out there, but it is the most expensive um, as far as vegan. Um, I'd have to say it's definitely up there. But obviously you have to pay the price. Um, there's a lot of good vegans out there nowadays, though. So the vegan game's changing every fucking day. You know, the vegan game is changing. So, got one scoop here. And yeah, there is inclusions. I don't know what they are. But there is inclusions. They're like little fucking pieces. I guess they're dried. They're dried strawberry pieces. That's weird. Tastes like a fucking. Yeah, it tastes like strawberry. I'm pretty sure those are actually dried strawberry pieces. But it almost tastes like a marshmallow. Weird. Yeah, freeze dried strawberries. So yeah, they're pretty much like, they crunch. You know what I'm saying? They crunch. So peanut butter and jelly action. Is this thing leaking? Better not be. All right, taste test, guys. Peanut butter and jelly vegan. This is the first peanut butter and jelly vegan I've had. I wish they would've did the grape jelly, but they went the strawberry route. Here we go, taste test, guys.
Wow. Very fucking well done. I'm not the biggest fan of strawberry though. If I didn't know any better, I think it's flavored peanut butter, but the little pieces of strawberry gives you that, 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 that jelly taste. So the base is pretty much primarily peanut butter, and then those little pieces are in there as you're drinking it, and then you kind of chew on them, and then they, it kind of gives you that strawberry taste. Super solid, honestly. There's enough pieces to keep giving you that, that strawberry peanut butter jelly taste. Super solid. Super smooth. I like it. Yeah, it's really good. The little pieces are different. Like, I'm not used to having, like, little frozen pieces in there. <clears throat> Tastes like peanut butter and jelly. I'm not the biggest fan of strawberry jelly, but it's actually really good. I'm going to have to give it, like, a solid, honestly, like a 9 out of 10. You know, it's um, it's sweetened with sucralose, and um, it gives you that nice, <coughs> sweet peanut butter taste. And then those little pieces just kind of gives it that little bit of jelly taste. It's pretty fucking good. I like it. If you guys try it, let me know what the fuck you think. You guys already know I'm a big fan of Planta. Um, but I will say this. Their Stevia-based ones are not impressive by no means. Um, so make sure if you guys do get any of the Plantas, make sure they are sucralose sweetened. Uh, I pretty much have reviewed mostly all the sucralose ones. I haven't really reviewed that many of the um, Stevia ones. So... If you guys try it, let me know what the fuck you think. That's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, thanks for the support as always. Let me know what you want to see next. And if you like to fucking bad, subscribe, share, like, and comment below. <coughs> subscribe, share, like, and comment below. Let's go over to Troll Animal Amy because I'm fucking so whoa. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm Fitness, Facebook, I'm Fitness, Snapchat, I'm Fitness, Instagram, I'm Fitness. Don't forget to like my band page, Divide Dimension on Facebook. Follow my band, Divide Dimension on Spotify. Shop over something needs at TigerFitness.com using my affiliate link, which will be in the description box below. If you guys want to pick this up, Go to, go to my affiliate link. I'd really appreciate it. If not, no big fucking deal. And other than that, I'll check you guys later.